you guys ever have those days where you're just really feeling how your hair came out and you just want to take like a bunch of pictures and snaps well that's that's how I'm feeling today. I'm just like really loving how my hair came out. I did this um, on blown out hair. I just did like four cornrows, like two at the sides, two in the back. Um, so yeah, if you're not following me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, you definitely should. Like this is one of those days where I'm like snapping more than usual um, because I'm just loving my hair. You know, you just gotta like capture the moments when you have good hair day because when it comes to natural hair, it's so unpredictable. You never know if it's going to come out good, if it's going to come out bad. You don't know what the heck you're going to get sometimes. So you have a day when it comes out good. You just got to like love it and enjoy it and embrace it and capture it on Snapchat and Insta stories and Instagram. <laughs> okay, so I thought today that I would do um, a video, a beauty video. I feel like I haven't done a beauty video in a while. Um, so I've done a starter kit for transitioning and I thought, so why not do like a makeup starter kit? So I know that in the world of makeup, just like with hair, it can become very overwhelming um, because there's so, so many different products out there and you never know what to get. So Hassan, if you are new to makeup and you're like, where the heck do I start? What do I need for my starter kit? this is what I'm going to help you with. So as far as, like I said, the products go, these are just the products that I have and that I like. I'm not saying to get these products. I'm just saying to get this type of product. You know what I mean? So if I show you guys a foundation, a foundation is a key part to your beginner makeup kit. It doesn't mean get the foundation that I have. It just means get a foundation because everyone's skin is different. Everyone's preference on how they like to wear their makeup or what type of formula they want to use is different. So for me, these are just the essentials that if you're someone that's like, I want to get into makeup, but I don't know where to start. These are the things that I feel are your basic essentials to have a well-equipped makeup kit. So First thing you need in your kit is some type of foundation. It could be a liquid foundation. This is liquid. It could be a powder foundation, um, a pressed powder foundation. It could be a loose powder foundation. It could be a stick foundation. Whatever formula works best for you, you just need a foundation. Or you can be someone that doesn't wear foundation, but if you wear found or if you want to wear foundation, that's like one of the first things is foundation. So another thing you're gonna need is a concealer. So depending on your skin, you'll want a concealer that's a couple shades lighter. It's all about your preference. I don't really go too light. Um, I maybe go like one to two shades lighter. Um, but you want a concealer that's just a little bit lighter to go underneath your eyes so that it can just make you look more awake and more refreshed. Um, but then you're also going to want a concealer that is your skin tone. Um, something like this is going to be potted. It can be... Uh, applicator like this as well just whatever you want um but you will need one that is your complexion in case you have any kind of discoloration if you have a breakout and you want to cover that up you're not going to want to use a concealer that is lighter than your complexion you're going to want to use one that is your complexion so that it seamlessly blends in that blemish or that discoloration to kind of just like go with the rest of your skin okay so the next thing speaking of under eye um under eye concealer so once you have your under eye concealer on you're going to want to set it you can set it with like your all over face powder but if you want to keep that like fresh bright and awake look you're going to want to set it with some type of translucent powder or some type of banana powder banana powders and translucent powders are pretty much like the popular things that people like to use so as far as the translucent powder goes um this is one this is just your translucent powder from Laura Mercier. She also has a secret brightening powder. Or like my ultimate favorite one, you can do something like this, which is like a banana powder. It's a Ben Nye banana press powder. But yeah, you're gonna wanna set that under eye because if you don't set it, then it might crease more than it generally would. Like most concealers, for me at least, are gonna crease even just a little bit. It's not gonna be totally creaseless. Um, but you do wanna set that concealer under your eye so that it stays put. So on the same topic of setting your makeup, um, when you set your whole face, there's a couple things you can do. You can set it with a translucent powder, just like this one that you set under your eyes, or um, you can set it with a pressed powder, which is what I like to do. But this is like a super lightweight pressed powder. This is not gonna give you any kind of coverage or anything. It's really just gonna lock everything in place. 
And I am someone that is really oily, so I definitely make sure to set my makeup. Some of you guys might want additional cover, so you can use either a heavier powder foundation or you can use like a loose powder foundation that's gonna give you that extra coverage. But okay, the next thing we'll talk about is, um, well wait, I'm gonna kinda try to backtrack because I should have done this in a specific order, but I didn't. So anyways, okay, before you even put your foundation on, you're going to want to prime your skin. You're gonna want some type of primer that is specific to your skin needs. And you're also going to want some type of setting spray as well. Um, I really love this one because you can use it before and after. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And you can spritz your face with this before you do your makeup and it's going to prime your skin. And then you can use it after as well um, if you want to just tone down that powdery look. So that's really important. So when you set your face with a powder, you want to make sure that it's all blended in really well and you don't want it to look like cakey and powdery. So that's why you're going to want to spray some type of setting spray once you're finished with all your makeup just to kind of like make sure that it all kind of blends into your skin and it's not looking powdery and cakey. I personally like to spray my face before and after. Um, it just is very hydrating and I just feel like it just makes my makeup glide on so much better and then it just makes my makeup look more natural when I spray it after. I'm not a big eyeshadow person. I love it on other people, but for me, I just keep it pretty simple and basic. I don't like to look too made up. Um, so yeah, you wanna have eyeshadow. And if you're going to be wearing eyeshadow, you want to have a good base. So like a good eyeshadow primer. Some people use concealer. I really like this Laura Mercier one just because I can wear this alone and it gives my eyes like a nice, smooth finish all one tone um but it's also it is a primer as well it just happens to be flesh tone for me um but yeah it'll just kind of lock your eyeshadow in more make it crease less and just increase the longevity throughout the day depending on how your skin is you may need a color corrector i love color correcting um, cause I do have acne prone skin, so I break out and I have a mark and same old story all the time. So I like to use a color corrector. They come in a variety of ranges. For me, if you're similar to my complexion, you'll want to use kind of like a deeper orange tone to just put on those marks so that when you put your foundation on, it's less likely to show the dark marks through it or show any kind of discoloration. But there's a ton of different formulas. I have so many, um, this is just the one I'm using right now. But yeah, a good color corrector is something you're going to want to have. Even to correct under your eyes, if you have any kind of darkness or whatever your concerns are. I mean, there's green, there's purple, there's yellow, there's orange, there's all different colors. So just figure out what your concerns are and then find a color corrector for that. And it definitely makes like a huge difference. So staying with the eyes, you want to make sure that you have a good eyelash curler. Um, a lot of people like to use fake lashes. I'm not a big fake lash person. I just kind of work with what I got. So a good eyelash curler is great because it's just going to bring out your lashes even more. Um, and an awesome mascara. So this is like my favorite duo. This is a mascara primer. And then this is just your mascara. So for me, I think priming your lashes before you do mascara really helps. It helps bring out your lashes more. It helps protect your lashes. Um, yeah, I just feel like when I use the one and I don't use one, I can definitely see a difference. So this is not like an essential, but for me, I would say it's an essential, but it's not something you have to have. But a good primer to go with your mascara is a good idea. And then you want to, of course, have your lip products. So I'm a gloss girl. Sometimes I'll venture out and wear a lipstick, but for the most part, I'm a gloss girl. So you want to have some type of chapstick for your lips. I like to moisturize the lips prior to doing my makeup. Um, and then, like I said, I'm a gloss girl, so you wanna have your gloss or your lipstick or your liquid lipstick or whatever formula you wanna use. Um, some type of colored lip product is another key item. So the last thing that I forgot to mention, which is like super key and super big to me, is brows. So you want to make sure you have a good brow product. So you can use one that's pencil, that is powder, um, that's like a mousse, that's like a pen, whatever your preference is, you need a good brow product. Product Anastasia is great. Um, she's all about brows. If you want to know where to start and you have a medium range budget, if you have a lower range budget, whatever the case may be, there's brow products and makeup products from a variety of price ranges. So 
a good brow product you need that and then you need a good gel to set your brows because once you do your brows you don't want to kind of let them get all out of place and get messed up so you're going to want to set it with a good brow gel another thing you want to have back to the lips is a good nude lip liner so of course just depending on what color lipstick you're wearing you might want to match your lip liner to your lipstick but i think it's really good to just have like a basic nude lip liner that maybe can go with any kind of lipstick that if you need to kind of like mute out your lips which you can do with concealer as well if you kind of need to mute out your lips or bring out the color more in a lip product you can use a nude one or just a nude one like me that you can kind of go with any neutral lip gloss or lipstick i forgot one of my favorite two of my favorite things three of my favorite things totally forgot skipped over that i think i skipped over that anyways so bronzer bronzer i think is awesome i think it's to me it's a basic it's something that you want to have um because it just really brings out a beautiful glow in your skin it warms it up because once you put that foundation on your skin it's going to be like a blank canvas so you want to have things that are going to just kind of like bring back the life to your skin and just warm your face up so bronzer is great it sometimes can be hard to find a really good bronzer that's going to give you like that beautiful lit within sun kiss glow and not make you look orange but you know it's just trial and error that's gonna help you figure out which one works so bronzer's key highlighter everybody loves highlighter there's a ton of different highlighters out there i love a highlighter that just gives me like a nice subtle glow nothing too dramatic um so yeah and then blush blush i don't think you have to have blush it's just gonna bring a little bit more color into your face if you're using bronzer and highlighter that's really gonna give your face a really good beautiful glow um and the blush is just like something extra i don't know if you guys can tell i have on blush today i think no i didn't wear this one um but yeah it's just gonna give your face a little bit more color some people like to use it on their eyes as well or they like to match their lip color with their blush it's really just dependent on your preference and now i think i said all the makeup stuff I think that's it. I hope I didn't forget anything. I feel like I talked kind of fast just because I didn't want to make this video too long. Um, but like I said, this was not about the specific product. Some of these I kind of mentioned, but this video is not about the specific product to use. It was just about, or I should say it wasn't about the specific brand. It was about just the actual product. So I'm not going to list the brands of the products that I showed you guys in the description box below because that's not what it was about but I am going to make a list of the essential things you need so I'll put like foundation or brow gel or bronzer like I'll put those things so that if you guys kind of want to you know take that with you and start building up your collection you can I'll just briefly go over like brushes that you want to have so some people use beauty blenders or sponges there's a ton of different ones out there um these are both by beauty blender this is like the basic beauty blender and this is the I think this is called a blusher but I like to use this one specifically for under my eyes to set my powder um, well to set my concealer with powder I just feel like it's a perfect size and it just works really well um, but if not you got your brushes so like I said there's there's a ton of brushes out there that can be specific for each Thing you're doing on your face another thing with brushes is don't ever think because a brush says specifically what it's for that you can't use it for something else as well um if you have a brush that is considered like a blush brush you can use it for powder powdering your whole face you can use it for highlighting you can use it for whatever you want to use it for so like i said i'm just going to kind of show you guys your basic essential brushes so the basic brushes you're going to want to have is of course a foundation brush to get your foundation on or like i said you can use the beauty blender you're going to want to have a brush that is for your bronzer you want to blush for your um for your blush <laughs> you want to brush for your blush which you can also like i said use your highlighter as well um this is specifically a highlighter brush and it's just perfect it's going to just kind of get there for the longest time i hated these brushes i was like i don't like it i use a totally different brush for highlighter but y'all i think i was like i always want to do it like that and i'm like i don't want that streaky line and then i was like duh i don't know why i didn't think of that before everybody uses this side of it so that's how you get that beautiful little glow don't don't do this don't do this unless you're maybe doing down the center of your nose um and then you can kind of do that but if you're going on your cheeks go like this just swish it on your cheeks 
push it up here a little bit. Don't be like me and be like, oh, I hate it without even really knowing how to use it. I don't know how that got past me for years. I just like, it dawned on me when I was like, duh, you're not supposed to use it like that. Um, okay, next powder brush. It's just gonna be able to dust the powder all over your face. Um, some kind of spoolie for your brows. So this is just like a little extra brush that I'm going to throw in here. It's not necessary, but this is like a contour brush. I use this one to contour the side of my nose. Um, I don't contour my face too much. I haven't really gotten into contouring. I'm just more of like bronzing my face up. Um, but if you want to do any kind of contouring, this is a good brush. If you guys have any questions on like a specific product, um, first check my videos because I have several makeup videos that might answer your question. If not, then just leave a question in the comment box below and I will make sure to get back to you guys. Um, hopefully this was helpful to some of you guys. I know like I said makeup can be so overwhelming and you just don't know where to go, where to start. But I think this is like a good base, um, base video just to kind of tell you which product you should have in your kit. So I want to say kit, I just mean like your collection of makeup just to kind of start off. Hopefully this video was helpful to some of you guys. I know that the world of makeup can be super overwhelming, so I just kind of want to give you guys, um, I guess just kind of like a base to go off of just to know which specific products are good pieces to have in your makeup collection, um, just to start with. Like there are literally thousands of makeup products out there, but I think that this is a good, a good place to start with your essentials. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I would love it if you guys would subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I post videos, which is always Wednesdays at 3.30. Um, yeah, follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at AllMyLoves2. And as always, if you guys have any ideas or comments or anything you want to let me know, then go ahead and leave it in the comment box below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.